Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today, we are going to speak regarding my favorite hero in the game, uh, Kinara. Uh, I have already did uh, a guide about her, but it's been like seven months after that. Uh, we are already uh, in the end of the season 2+. So it's time for me to update the Kinara guide, uh, like nothing much changed, honestly, but it's important to mention that uh, Kinara is still very useful. As you can see, I invested all my legendary tokens uh, to get her skills on to the max level, 5, right? And I have only 3 levels left until I will awaken uh, Kinara. As you know, I'm a 100% free-to-play player. Uh, I don't spend even one dollar on this game, and I'm trying to uh, progress like that. My highest uh, power is 28 million. I don't know how I managed to get there, but still, uh, I kind of have enough experience to talk about things uh, in the game, because I'm playing uh, day by day, every day, uh, since the game came out. So, uh, my favorite hero, Kinara, uh, in order for us to understand why she's so good, uh, we need to understand the skills of the hero, right? Uh, so, let's dig uh, inside the skills uh, and the synergy. So, first skill is always main skill for the uh, legendary or in general any hero in the game. 1400 damage factor. Uh, target damage deals reduction is 15%. So, you are giving the debuff. Uh, inflicts feeble damage dealt uh, reduction 15% for 5 seconds. Well, uh, pretty good uh, first skill. Whenever uh, on the first skill there is additional things besides skill damage factor, that's always a great thing to see. The second skill, uh, normal attack damage bonus up to 20% and hero skill damage reduction up to 10%. So, in both first skills, uh, Kinara is giving debuffs, which can uh, like give them damage reduction, which is pretty good, right? Uh, third skill is like uh, pretty basic, marksman uh, unit physical attack bonus is 13%. Uh, and the last, uh, like, fourth skill is pretty interesting. Uh, Kinara is getting 30% physical uh, counter-attack damage, which is quite a lot. You will see the counter-attack damage mainly, uh, like, 30%, 25% uh, on the infantry heroes, right? So it's uh, pretty rare that you're gonna see so high uh, counter-attack damage with debuffs on a marksman hero, right? Uh, the awakening uh, of the Kinara is pretty important because she's getting 20% uh, defense break. So it's it becomes a infantry killer. Uh, like uh, I have tried Kinara and the Nico combination uh, last night with a big war, and honestly, I was destroying like I was dealing a lot of damage to tier five infantry uh, hero pairs. So, like, in general, the skill set is pretty obvious, you are dealing a lot of skill damage, uh, you are reducing the enemy's damage to you, and also, if somebody will hit you with normal attack, you are giving the, a lot of counter-attack damage to them, right? In general, in my opinion, Kinara has one of the great uh, talents in the game, Marksman, PvP, and Control, great thing to have, uh, honestly, uh, like, but in general, uh, Kinara is mainly played as a secondary hero, and as you know, uh, talents only matter on a primary hero. Uh, but still, we should speak about the talents of the hero. Uh, as you already know, Marksman tree is like main basic tree of every Marksman hero, but PvP and control, like if you want to uh, give more debuffs to the enemy legions, like damage reduction, which we already spoke uh, in this video, then you can go to the control tree until the end, right? But in my opinion, the best tree which uh, Kinara has a, is a PvP tree uh, until the maximum and the control until the uh, half, because uh, in my opinion, Kinara is uh, the best into the PvPs, in the, into the wars, statue battles, like in general, player versus player uh, combats, right? That's why PvP tree is pretty important. And I would suggest highly that uh, everybody should play uh, PvP on uh, uh, Kinara's talents as a main talent because you will get a lot of benefits out of it, right? Uh, in general, like there is, there have been many hero pairs uh, for Kinara. 
all right but uh like whenever i made the video like seven months ago it, like after that one new hero pair appeared but still we're gonna speak about every each of them uh because uh, in general hero pairs are very important in this game uh, main hero pair still in my opinion if you are especially tier 4 player uh, for Kinara is Nico and Nico is primary and Kinara is secondary in my opinion because precision tree is great to have on Nico uh, so like what kind of synergies these two have right like these two are marksman, marksman type which is dealing damage by skills skill damage factors right uh, you can see on nico 1400 defense reduction amazing thing like kinara on awakening uh, skill has a defense break uh, nico on first skill has a defense reduction uh, like second skill is useless and also nico has some counter attack damage not as much as uh, kinara of course kinara has 30 percent nico has 20 percent so like additional counter attack damage is always great and if you will be able to awaken Nikino, Nikan, Kinara and the Nico together, uh, Nico is getting 80% chance to uh, def like whenever the enemy is uh, uh, like already defense breaked, like whenever Kinara is apply a defense break for, with her uh, awakening skill, Nico will deal 80% uh, chance to deal additional 200 damage. So like synergy is pretty clear. Uh, like a lot of counter-attack damage, a lot of skill damage. Uh, whenever you're gonna awaken Kinara, you're gonna get defense break, and whenever you're gonna awaken Kino, uh, Nico, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, like names, right? Whenever you're gonna awaken Nico, uh, you're gonna get additional damage while Kinara will uh, add the defense break. Uh, another hero pair which got pretty popular lately, uh, especially popular with tier 5 players, in my opinion, uh, is a, a Hosk and Kinara. Uh, like a uh, lot of tier 5 players are playing uh, Kinara with Hosk. Uh, well, Hosk's main idea is that the Hosk is giving additional uh, Legion capacity. 15,000 more troops will be on your Legion, which means you are already tanky. So, like, you won't gonna deal a lot of damage with Hosk and Kinara, in my opinion, but you're gonna deal a lot of counter-attack damage. Uh, it's like more tanky version of Marksman, right? Uh, you are, like, standing still, a lot of people are hitting you, and Kinara is dealing a lot of counter-attack damage uh, whenever she is with Hosk, and whenever she is alive in general, she is dealing a lot of damage. The other hero pairs which can be fine with Kinara, like I have seen a lot of like Kinaras with Freygar and I don't think it works. I have seen a couple of Syndrions with Kinara and I don't think it works. But if you want to pair Kinara with some epic hero, I think uh, Gwen Winnie is a primary hero with a precision tree uh, and Kinara is secondary uh, hero can work uh, if you don't have like the two marksman legendary heroes. Uh, and you want to use one epic one, I think uh, Gwenwin can work. It's like a budget version of uh, Kinara's um, hero pair. So, like, uh, of course, we have to speak uh, even for, like, epic heroes, right? So, like, in my opinion, main and most important hero pair for Kinara is Nico and Kinara. After that second tier, uh, if you are not uh, tier 5 and if you are tier 5 player, of course, uh, Kinara with Hosk is the best pair. Uh, the artifacts which uh, Kinara can use is pretty uh, many, right? But of course I'm gonna speak about artifacts which we can get currently out of chests. Um, currently I'm using Shadow Blades. I think what we can get out of here, Shadow Blades, is the best artifact. Honestly, uh, like whenever you are fighting with Shadow Blades, you can understand that you are using your artifact uh, pretty much all the time. It's not hard to charge it. Uh, also, you are dealing damage up to 5 enemy legions, and damage factor is 1800 uh, on a 1 level Shadow Blades, and the skill name is Shadow Game. So, great artifact to have. If you have, you are already happy, and you are using it on Nico and Kinara Hero Pair, like skill damage artifact, great thing to have. Uh, other artifacts for uh, Kinara here, like honestly... Uh, there is not much. Uh, there is another marksman artifact, Heart of Gam Gamasi, and it's not for Kinara. Like 100%, I'm sure Heart of Gamasi is not Kinara. I I can see a play whenever Heart of Gamasi is good with Syndrion, but not with Kinara. 
uh, and the another choice like if you don't have shadow blades and you like as you can see there is not much another uh, marksman artifact you can go with uh, heart purser uh, pretty much budget version of shadow blades right like if you have five level heart per shot you're gonna get 2000 damage and also you are applying defense uh, break which is great uh, honestly, if Heartpiercer was legendary, I would choose Heartpiercer on uh, Kinara, but it's epic, so it's kind of a budget version of Shadow Blades. Uh, also, another artifact which is epic, which you can use on Kinara, is Bowflinger. Uh, the skill doesn't have a cooldown, and you are dealing damage to 2,400. Uh, it's a, like a worse uh, than uh, Heartpiercer, but still, it is uh, playable, so we need to speak regarding uh, Bombflinger 2. So, as you understand, the Shadow Blade is a tier 1, uh, after that Hairpiercer, and then Bombflinger for Kinara. In general, like, there is a question how you can get Kinara uh, whenever you are already past Season 1. Well, answer is pretty obvious. Uh, there are a couple of uh, events where there is like lucky spins, and when you can choose the hero you want to get, there have already been a couple of lucky spins whenever you had you could choose Kinara. And you just need to unlock her. You don't don't want to don't need to get like 20 or 25 tokens. You just need to unlock Kinara. And whenever you're gonna unlock her, you can choose her on a VIP shop uh, to get Kinara's token uh, one every single day. And like day by day, uh, if you are a free-to-play player like me, you will be able to get Kinara uh, up to like this, 5-5. Five, five, 5-2. Uh, I think I used almost like every single legendary token to get Kinara on this uh, like uh, stage uh, and every day why VIP uh, tokens was always Kinara for me. So like I managed to somehow, I'm, I'm quite close to awakening her. I think another one more season and it will be enough and if I could, if I can count, a uh, free-to-play player can awaken legendary hero in like three season, seasons. So uh, you need to like uh, understand and you need to strategize your heroes on which you want to awaken first. I guess in next season I'm gonna be able to awaken her. Uh, soon I will be able to get uh, enough legendary tokens to get three level on this and I think one season will be enough to get two levels and finally I will be able to have free to play uh, legendary hero hero Kinara awakened. Uh, the warpets, uh, which uh, I have already taken guide uh, with the every single warpet which is in the game currently, and like I think uh, Snow Peak Rock is a great uh, warpet to have on Kinara. Uh, like for example, by myself, I'm playing with uh, with Snow Peak Rock with Nico and Kinara simply because Snow Peak Rock is mainly like a, a damage factor. Uh, Warped, and of course, Maniac Might, like uh, enemy legion defense penetration, uh, is a great thing to have. Uh, and also, like some crit rate and some uh, march speed, because I think in general, marksmen has a low march speed uh, whenever they are moving. Uh, so, like, this is uh, like main idea why I wanted to take Kinara's uh, guide, because she's still very popular. Uh, still a lot of people are using her, like finally we have another hero pair for her with Hosk, but I think still Nico and Kinaro is a great uh, thing to have, especially for free-to-play players, because you can choose a Nico, uh, you can get Nikos from here, uh, simply by just playing the game, and you can get Kinaras from the VIP shop every day, and you can always use your tokens, like for example, I can use this uh, G2 hero token for the uh, Kinara and like uh, it's just all matters what you prioritize how you want to play uh, Whenever I started playing this game. I wanted to main a mar marksman That's why I have already one legion Nico and Kinara and already preparing second one. I have Freigar prepared and uh, Whenever I'm gonna awaken uh, Kinara, I will uh, get Syndrion to 5111 this is all I wanted to speak. Uh, my Nico guide was already kind of old, like seven to six months ago. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, what I wanted to share about my favorite hero, favorite marksman hero. Uh, I hope you are liking the videos. I hope you are liking the live content because in live content there is always wars and always some fun. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the uh, videos which I'm making, press like, uh, subscribe. It always brings smile on my face whenever my videos are doing well and helping you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you very very soon.